We are coming together at a moment of great importance for our country and the world. It is a time when all of us are being challenged. It is a time when we are all being asked to come together, to put our differences aside and act as one. I have often described the people of Mississippi as resilient. We've weathered many storms together. We know that applies to our country as well. We know that we will come through this stronger, having gained wisdom and insights that only come with tough times. I urge all Mississippians to use caution. This is not a time to panic. We are acting calmly and steadily. In this state, we were prepared. We have a pandemic plan that is being followed to the letter. We have tremendous experts who are operating in a way that will protect the public health and save lives. We are listening to those experts and following their lead every step of the way. This is a time for great caution. I have just signed a state of emergency, which will equip our state with every resource we need to see this through. Testing, care, and relief for people in Mississippi affected by this global outbreak will be available, especially for those most vulnerable to the virus. This state of emergency allows us to make quick changes to our rules and regulations because we know that everything is shifting quickly around us. It gives healthcare facilities the ability to implement their emergency plans. It allows us to access special emergency funds and teams that we will need to fight this virus. We are asking everyone to pay special attention to hygiene, wash your hands, be aware of your health. Know that we all have a role to play in this. You may be blessed with good health and not fear for your safety, but your neighbor may not be so lucky. We must all act together to prevent the unnecessary spread of this virus. To that end, we have asked for each of our citizens to do things that may be hard. Stay away from large gatherings. That means sports and even church tomorrow. I'm asking churches not to hold large in-person services in the morning. You can worship from home. Work from home if you can. You have heard the term social distancing. That is one of the most important things that you can do. That's what my family and I are doing. I'll be voluntarily working from home for 14 days out of an abundance of caution and care for others around us. Now, we have no symptoms. Everyone is healthy and strong, but we know that we have to be an example of caution and that is what we are doing. I will be asking my cabinet to allow any employees who can work from home to do so. We are encouraging other employers who can do the same. We are temporarily closing some offices, like those that issue driver's licenses, which present a special risk to staff and taxpayers. We are taking steps to protect inmates from the virus because the spread within our prisons could be a worst case scenario. We are working closely with hospitals, schools, and businesses to keep Mississippians safe. I am asking all of our schools to extend spring break by at least one week. We know that can be a burden on working families, and we are working hard to minimize that struggle. Mississippians look after one another, and we will work hard to take care of you throughout this time. We know more Mississippians will test positive. That is the nature of this virus. We also know that today we have what we need. We have tests. We have the funding we need. As we move forward, we will continue to monitor all of that and keep you up to date. We have incredible doctors and nurses. All of them deserve our thanks and our prayers. We are in good hands. With this state of emergency declaration, our experts have everything they need to execute our detailed plans. We will get through this together. Stay safe. Stay smart. Stay tuned to our further updates. Do not overreact but do not ignore the risk. Pray for your neighbors and pray for people around the world. Together with common sense and some sacrifice, we will emerge stronger than ever.